Okay, guys, so I'm going to uh, go with a piece of, I guess it's history, but it's also very prevalent in the present and will affect the future, and that is parenting, specifically black fathers. Uh, there's this large myth. It's actually a lie. Let's call it what it is. It's a lie that says that um, black fathers are not involved in their children's lives, which is not true. Uh, really what it's come down to is censuses and, stati and statistics um, that reflect certain studies, but they, it doesn't paint the whole picture. So for example, 70% um, of black women who have children, and I'm guessing they went with black women by black men, are not married. So in a lot of um, you know counts, they're not counting that that as a family because the parents aren't married. So therefore they are excusing the father even though the father may be living in the home. So that drives up and creates this campaign um, of tolerance to say that one group is not, um, is not there for their children even though really this, 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 uh, that stat should reflect that just more black uh, couples aren't marrying but as far as raising their children, not true. So the CDC came up with a study, and I'm not sure when these, these studies are. And the original study that I just mentioned happened, I believe in the 50s or 60s, so forgive me on some of this loose data. Uh, but the CDC um, reflected that 70% of black fathers were actually day-to-day -day parents um, involved in their children's lives. Uh, compared to 60% of white fathers, and I believe 45% of Hispanic fathers, they're also found to be more likely to um, be involved in activities, getting uh, children to school, um, extracurricular activities, and that's outside of bathing, homework, uh, uh, making meals, things like that. Um, fatherlessness, it, I guess it has its own definition, so you have to really understand what fatherlessness can um, can entail. So in some cases, um, the reflection and uh, this is built around uh, legal. So you're talking about um, if there's a joint custody uh, or it's uh, or the mother has custody, then her address is generally put into the children's uh, matrix for school districts, things like that. So the father's household often does not reflect um, having children in it. So therefore you, again, can have these stats become kind of overblown. Um, you also have um, fatherlessness through, um, unfortunately, uh, police death, mass incarceration. Um, these are what we know to be true to remove uh, black men from, from households at a larger rate than it does um, white and Hispanic and Asian counterparts. So um, you can say that, um, well, that that might be of their own doing or what have you, but in a lot of cases, we've also seen that innocent people have been murdered. So there is that. Um, I know some will say, well, but what about black on black crime? What about white on white? Because actually white people kill more white people than black people kill black. And you're more likely just to be killed by the people that you live amongst in your community. So let's put that to bed. Um, I've been through um, all sorts of aspects of black fatherhood. Um, I've done single parenting, which meant I worked a job and did the day-to-day -day care by myself. Uh, I cohabitated with my children's mother, and then when we split, uh, we're now co-parenting joint custody. Um, and I do count my child as being part of my household. So um, there is that. So we do have to you know, kind of look at things um, in a broader scope rather than just believe what we hear or what a few people have you know, told you because they had a bad experience. Ladies, I'm sorry, but not every black male is your baby's daddy. Um, so let's keep it, let's keep it, you know, in context. Um, these, these fatherhood angles, aspects also would, for me, have covered financial, emotional, and everyday physical. 
uh, being in the house um, and not to mention now in a joint custody, seeing my child every day. Uh, well, I would say with the exception of like every other weekend, but doing the homeschooling. So what I'm living is reflecting a lot of this and it doesn't take away from anybody who's um, not able to do it to the fullest of their ability. Sometimes they're held back by legal um, legal aspects. Sometimes it's um, it's just work. Um, you know, you don't have the schedule to be able to do it. Whatever it is, guys, we have to knock down these these lies because we're all being lied to. And the more non-blacks believe this, then they do themselves no justice either. You do yourself no no justice. Um, as far as how you see the entire world in a reality. So um, hopefully this is, again, not necessarily a black history as in so-and-so was born on this day or you know what have you, but this is something that's very real and it's very necessary to still speak about now. Talk down the people that you know that would say this in uh, the company of those who they would feel comfortable with. Lies or lies, no matter who you're telling them to or in front of. Guys, uh, I'll leave it at that. Have a fantastic day. Peace, love, unity, solidarity. Black history, black fathers.